the sky after the rain. Because of work is quite busy, I sleep very little. Sometimes I only sleep for two to three hours a day. Normally when I lie down to go to sleep, I discover the strange blue sky outside the window. So sleep did not come, I sat up and leaned back on the bed to watch the brilliant colors of the sky outside. Like a prism that has been washed away, the raindrops become bright and sparkling, bringing with them a pure and wet beauty. It was my quiet time. Early in the morning, a cold wind blew in through the crack of the door, accompanied by the pure scent of transparent morning dew on each branch. The line of cars on the street is more and more frequent, the melody of the exercise is played, the sound of footsteps and the sound of people talking. A new day begins. That quiet time brought with it the steps of sadness and gloom, all of which passed in a split second. I went to the kitchen to make a cup of coffee, the hot, wavering flavor mixed with the instrumental music of Francis Goya. I drank coffee for breakfast and then went to wash my clothes drying them on the drying rack on the balcony in the sun. A few drops of water dripped down, forming round dots on the balcony. Those round dots were immediately dried by the bright sunlight of the early morning. After the housework is done, I go to the company by bus. Along the way, sitting in the car, watching the green foliage swaying in the wind, in the sunshine. The day passed quickly, and in the blink of an eye a night had fallen. At night, I often lose sleep, give birth to hallucinations, think that that person is still here, has never gone far and chats comfortably with me. The room was hot, I turned on the air conditioner and wrapped myself in a big blanket, feeling like a squid placed in the refrigerator. I seem to have two personalities in me. During the day, he talks and laughs innocently, only when the night falls, he returns to a sharp man. Always do lonely things. For example, writing in a journal, listening to music at a very low volume, trying to stay calm but still feeling restless and crying quietly. When I look through old photos, I still cry like that. When facing a stranger I once loved, I smiled very sweetly, very bright. But don't understand why. One hot afternoon, my friends and I went to the city record store to buy more than 10 Boney M records. The weather was quite hot. My forehead sweats. Right now, music is the cure to all suffering and hallucinations. I listen to music all the time, listen to a lot of different CDs. As soon as I heard any melody of any singer or group, I would buy it. Sometimes I listen to Sam Smith ballads, sometimes Biffy Clyro. It's magical, rock is crazy, strong, rock wraps around me. At such times, I feel comfortable and safe. In the evening of the same day, in the middle of the night, I suddenly woke up and turned on my computer. I am logged into Instagram account. My virtual world friends are still awake. Peter, a male friend who lives in faraway France, has just posted a picture of himself taking with the poetic Seine River. He stood on the bridge, posing with a bright smile. There are many likes and comments. He is sociable and open, so it is easy to make friends. I told him that I couldn't sleep, for unknown reasons. Peter said it's a sunny afternoon with him right now. He sat online near the window. From the window of his room, he could see the setting sun falling on the green river in the shadow of the long straight trees. Several boats drifted slowly. People walking along the riverbank. No hustle. No jostling. Life is calm and peaceful. I couldn't picture him in that wonderful hour. Peter is a writer, he writes a lot of short stories published in newspapers. He went through an incomplete love affair. I once sent him a picture of me sitting in the doorway with my chin on my chin, staring blankly. He said he liked the picture, especially those sad eyes. I asked him if he could tell someone's feelings through their eyes. He said, no matter how much I cover it up, my eyes don't lie. I told him how happy I used to be. But that happiness suddenly disappeared. Like fireworks. After all, a person's youth lies in the glorious moment when the fireworks are shot up brightly and then quickly fade away, leaving only ash and broken pieces. I joined the chat group. A familiar person in the group saw me and immediately disconnected the network, maybe because he hates me, 
every time I enter the chat room, he comes out. I don't understand why he hates me, hates for no reason. Love is like that, love is love like that. By chance, you meet a handsome man on the street, you fall in love with him at first sight. You watch him, in the middle of a busy, dusty street. As he glides past you, just a few millimeters away, you feel your heart pounding in your chest. Still not brave enough to start a conversation. Then he disappeared. Never see you again, that jealousy reminded me of when I was 12 years old when I had tooth decay that required immediate extraction. I was put under anesthesia and the dentist used a tool to pull the decayed tooth out of my jaw. When the anesthetic wears off, the sharp pain seeps into my body, little by little, making me uncomfortable. Love is like a tooth decay, damaged, broken, should not be kept. The wound in me over the days becomes vague, undefined. I can only remember a few scenes from my quick love affair. A few tasteless moments. That day I was on the rooftop of a high-rise building watching the clouds in the sky drift peacefully. Towering Building Vehicles below are like small moving dots. The wind is blowing so hard up here that it makes my hair flutter like it's blending with the clouds above. But I did not have time to enjoy the full freedom of my own space, then I was quickly kicked out. The security guard of the building told me to go to the park. The park in the late afternoon was full of people, children were playing, but I did not like the noisy space so I went to a nearby bar. In the dark bar, all the guests gathered around a magician. He said who could step up with him to perform a magic show for everyone. Nobody else. He pointed at me, then put his hand on mine and asked if I could see or feel anything. I shook my head, I couldn't see or hear or feel anything. The stage side of the bar was full of people dancing. Shin booby music. Flashing lights. The strong scent of perfume wafted around. The girls wear tight skirts. The boys dyed their hair blonde, their eyes full of lust. The magic man from earlier suddenly grabbed my hand, pulling me through the sea of people. His big, firm hand wrapped around mine, even if I resisted, I couldn't. We go down the stairs. The stairs were filled with people going up and down, most of them young foreigners. We ran out into an empty alley at the back of the bar. The shopping mall gave off a dazzling light. There is a girl waiting for the bus at the station. There was a shoe shine boy sitting sadly watching the flow of people pass by. There are people sitting on the side of the road, raising their hands to ask for money from people walking on the street. I never went to that bar again. The pleasure coming from strangers makes me feel creepy. Seeing a beer can on the road, I stepped on it with all my might, it made a bright sound. This is what I love to do. Suddenly, my passionate desires, different languages, and even the sobs of my heart were melted away by the sound of the shattering. This is certainly a busy city. The hotter it gets, the colder it gets. That cold covered every road. I think I fell in love with this city already. It left me helpless, but it also made me stronger. I love the feeling of returning to my room at one o'clock in the morning. Walk slowly up the dark stairs. As soon as the door opened, I turned on the light, looked around the empty house, and then turned it off. Going into my room, I turned on the small round lamp on the table, just enough to light up one corner of the room. It was so quiet, I heard the soft tapping of an old clock, the rustling of leaves in the yard, the wind blowing on the porch. Long night. It would be great if someone was here to chat with me all night long but I don't think I will ever bring anyone into this room again. This place belongs only to me. I can sleep, I can journal, I can listen to contemporary rock without fear of being disturbed. Sometimes I come home very early. Sometimes I stay at the company to work overtime, so I come back very late. I still remember that night when I stepped out of the company gate at more than 10 o'clock at night. Calling a friend, he is still working at the office now. I went to a small store and bought two blue cheeseburgers and a latte. The staff was making hamburgers so I had to wait, the street at this time is very crowded. Truly a bustling city. Through the glass door I saw a young couple walking hand in hand, happiness shining in their eyes. The taxis gallop on the road. 
some motorcycles go storm. The screams drowned out the roar of car horns. In the sky, the white stars try to radiate pure light to the world. In that moment, my body suddenly froze. Time seems to stand still. I don't know where I am. The feeling of despair was accompanied by overwhelming loneliness. I think of myself as a traveler passing through this road, lost in this city. I finally had the courage to accept the truth. A passerby. Because of love, I chose to leave. A close friend online told me so. Looking back, I think this friend was very right. There are such painful and tearful loves that do not contain any happiness or warmth. Leaving with a heart full of affection and sincerity is better than staying and gnawing at every sadness that cannot be relieved. I like to stand under a tree when the sky has just stopped raining. Because if I shake the leaves, the raindrops will shoot out, wet my hair, wet my shoulders. That moment I suddenly thought of love, remembered his smiling face, gently kissed him on the lips, said goodbye, and left. A close friend sent me a text message from a man. She said she and he were getting to know each other. He lives in a city very close to where we live. In his spare time, he often visits the bar near his house, going through the narrow door, there is a large pool table, there are many foreigners visiting. These people must have come from a faraway land and then got lost here, often judging the city as too noisy and crowded. I don't know why I keep waking up in the middle of the night lately, maybe because I drink too much coffee. It's raining outside. The sound was so loud, the rain pounding on the roof, flowing down the front porch and spilling out onto the ground. I covered myself with a blanket, sat across from the bright computer screen, reread the text you sent, couldn't believe my eyes it was written by a guy, since he studied computer science, I asked him to set up a website for me. I decorate the interface of the website very eye-catching, upload pictures, and write short entries. He came in and left comments under each post that he liked my photos and notes. That is recollection. My eyes sting because of that text, because of the words, because of a love story that is in the past. Years ago I drank and smoked, but now I don't. These things make me even more miserable and miserable. I just don't stop, just run. I still remember very clearly, on the afternoon of parting, he turned his back on me as well as on his heel. I run, run forever, because when I run, the water in my body will evaporate. If there is no more water, there will be no more tears. Thinking back to that moment, I think if I leave this city for a country or a valley, I can still live well without anyone. A heart full of loneliness is not afraid of loneliness. Sometimes loneliness is forgetting. I know forgetting is not disappearing, just not wanting to remember. You have two movie tickets, your lover is busy, so you ask me to go with you, we walked up the steps in front of the theater gate. The wind blows cold in the evening. In the dark sky, two planes flew gently, leaving a long white smoke trail behind their tail like a small bridge across the galaxy, and then gradually disappearing into the clouds. Everyone passed by. The villas stand tall in the heart of the city. Smiling faces. Warm handshakes. Indifferent glances. Lonely shoulders. All emotions. I looked up at the plane that had flown far away. The bright smoke from before was only a very thin layer that melted into pieces and disappeared in the sea of bright stars. I remember one time I was standing at the airport. In the main hall, there was a tall and thin foreign man writing something on a postcard. I saw the English words scattered on the card. He wears a brown windbreaker, brown eyes, and brown hair. I don't know if he's seeing someone off or welcoming them home. Or maybe he was the one who left and left nostalgia for the people who stayed. The airport was buzzing with announcements in all languages. I put on my backpack and walked out of the hall. The city is bright, the sky is clear, welcoming me back. I think I will stay here. No more goodbyes. You say the sky after the rain is like a happy human face, but I feel it is like a prism that covers all the pain and washes away all the sorrows in the world.